Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new review of the Satlon FR. Here is the key, a nice and simple new key. Uh, you can see the gimmick, very beautiful, uh, hola lights on the side. Um, let's just check out the new Alon. This is the 1.5 uh, TSI with a mild hybrid. That's the four cylinder inline uh, turbocharged with 150 horsepower. Uh, trunk space is 380 liters. So um, practical, still the same. Close it up. There's only one LED inside, but uh, I don't mind it. Uh, you get the Hola. Uh, these are the 18 inch alloy wheels, they look pretty nice in my opinion, uh, especially this uh, red color that's metallic that I'm gonna type the name down, I forgot, it's gonna be in the video description with all the information of the car. Once again, if I press the unlock from the front, you can see the uh, daytime running lights and the night, uh, LED light headlights in night that turn also into turn signals. Uh, also, I love this turn signal on the side mirror. In the FR you get some uh, details in satin finish, like the side mirrors and some details on the front bumper. Uh, FR illuminated doorstep, it's in aluminium. Nice ambient lights, you can customize them. And what the best is that, you can put your key here, uh, is that the uh, ambient lights are kind of hugging you. Unfortunately, they're not on the back, so this is it. Um, let's start the car. Um, we get this blind spot warnings and so hopefully won't get blinded by this car parking here so just a little bit on the interior I must say very nicely designed um, everything illuminates uh, white uh, all the buttons uh, we're gonna check at the just press here on the car uh, we have driver profiles we have electronic uh, suspension on this one and just to show you um, the ambient lights so uh, this is cold uh, it changes so you have calm uh, and then you have the active uh, wellness and then warm you can also select the driver profile uh, there's also different combinations according or you can choose the individual uh, on individual you can press here you can choose uh, like different colors as you can see uh, both on top and bottom and then you can control the bottom illumination uh, footwell illumination and stuff like that um, you can turn it all off in case you want that but I don't know who wants that if they <laughs> get it in the package uh, just to show you the music as well um, let's check here and a little bit of music test uh, excellent speakers these are bass speakers I believe uh, excellent bass uh, very good there's a lot of uh, options here if you go to let me just see a second here um, you gotta get the use of this infotainment but it's very good uh, I would say I like the overall design and the logic behind it um, so uh, excuse me sound settings you can actually choose here uh, extra, extra bass club real sound or uh, talk uh, so it kind of changes that you can set automatic here to focus it on particular and then you can play here also uh, with the bass and everything else uh, let's head out and start driving i uh, have a lot of assistance here um, and then you have the driver profiles. We're gonna be in comfort. We're gonna switch to the sport later. So putting into the drive and heading out. Uh, we're gonna do a zero to hundred. Um, if you're new to this channel, uh, later we're gonna go to the highway to come to 150, and we're gonna test the matrix. Uh, excuse me. These are LED light, LED headlights. I'm not 100% sure if they're matrix but they seem to be uh, very good. Uh, the difference is if they're matrix, they adapt to the uh, incoming traffic, so they them part of the, um, you know, parts. Uh, looks like we're having some storm coming our way, so hopefully we will finish before it maybe hits. Uh, the forecast says there won't be storm, but it doesn't matter, we're gonna continue on. Okay, so suspension um, 
well a very comfortable considering we're on 18 inch alloy wheels on the summer tires uh, it is like midsummer and um, I would say very comfortable and normal you can feel extra and then if you go to the sport I'm just gonna try hitting this yeah a lot harder so um, you know in the city I like to see a stay in comfort um, I'm just gonna go there this is broken the speed bump so that's why I'm avoiding it um, and you know in sport when you want a little bit more uh, grip uh, you can just switch and you can have a stiffer ride um, so the handling of the car is well uh, I would say very excellent precise uh, confident on the road uh, the back end doesn't stick out so uh, it's quite quite nice and quite decent um, the steering wheel also adapts according to your driver profile so it could be a very light uh, it could be um, or you know very precise and you can get a lot of feedback depending on the settings um, so the brakes there's a lot of um, I'm gonna move to this lane a lot of um, those uh, water I don't know the word but uh, forgot the English word uh, so you have to switch back to this lane um, so uh, the let's see the engine okay so this is the 1.5 TSI 150 horsepower as mentioned well the mild hybrid that um, I didn't feel it but I must say the engine is very responsive um, I would recommend it it pulls easily so uh, you know it, it heads out easily from the start it pulls it has a lot of torque uh, I would say excellent for the size of the car you know I wouldn't go for the less powered version I would just stick with this if money's not an issue and uh, about the consumption I'm gonna show it to you but um, you know I was testing the car so I didn't get a uh, the best consumption but you know it I think it's a According to the petrol, you know, always a little bit higher than the uh, gasoline. I mean, excuse me, the uh, diesel cars. So if we go, actually, let me check here. Uh, we're gonna go to the data here. I'm just gonna switch my lane. So since start, I've got um, 8.5. We just started. Oh, we have a green light. Long term, uh, it was 7.9. And then since refueling it's 7.6 uh, I've got it around uh, similar closer to the 8 uh, depending on your driving style okay everyone so I went uh, for a little drive I'm driving almost 16 kilometers and I was driving around 90 just to test like city commute uh, best consumption I got was 4.9 liters and then a long term 7.8 it was around 8 because I was driving today faster testing the car and then since refueling now 5.1 so I think 4.9 is very impressive if you're driving in echo mode economic uh, and you know on cruise control you can maybe even get it a little bit lower uh, but a very impressive fuel consumption and it's very interesting like if I change view this is my exit so you can see the engine shifts off when I brake it recuperates the energy for the mild hybrid system that is actually below the uh, front passenger seat now foot is off the accelerator pedal you can see that uh, the car is coasting it shuts off two cylinders it just keeps coasting and then when you press the accelerator it turns on then leave it it turns off and watch it now when I brake you can see charges so the mild hybrid is assisting so it's giving us a lot better fuel consumption now even 4.8 you can see my average speed long term and uh, since refueling so I think you can get actually very good economy on this car if you're gentle uh, and if you want you can always go sporty and then it'll be around 8 uh, 
or nine depending on your driving style and there's some interesting stuff here so i'm just gonna remove these uh visual off i don't need that uh same as the echo start stop kicks in and then you have the auto hold you can release it uh the automatic i love this new system this frees the interior space as well um i would say it's maybe slightly improved but uh, nothing major i think still it's good uh, maybe it's a little bit smarter doesn't get um you know stuck in high gears when you're going uphill and then continue downhill stuff like that um you know still averagely good but uh, i've seen better automatic transmissions but it's not a you know completely bad um so the interior i must comment this the interior is very delightful um i would say comparing to the golf it has more character the whole car the exterior and the interior has more design it's well made and the um i just love it i mean i know that's a matter of taste but the interior is very nice compared to the golf although it's the same philosophy with the screen on the top and vents on the bottom but you know i like it i think it's very good uh, especially this ambient lights are cool i wish they had it on the back but then it's volkswagen politics you know they give it to the golf and the audi a3 but not to the leon and the skoda octavia um i like the fact you're gonna see when the car comes in my blind spot these things uh turn orange so there's a car incoming maybe this is gonna turn on it usually does there's a little camera in this moment it didn't maybe because i'm not in motion maybe now ah yeah there you go you can see that that is very excellent solution very clever idea i like that um also the engine of course this is a petrol engine it's not noisy you know it's very um quiet you can mostly hear you know some tire noise and the cabin soundproof is actually um i would say very decent close to the volkswagen golf 8 so definitely better than the maybe the skoda octavia if you watch my video i've criticized the diesel version uh, the petrol version is a lot better and also uh, very decent um so um overall view around you is excellent so even if you need to turn on the back uh, there's no problem uh, watching your blind spot although you have it in this cool ambient features but if you don't get it in the package it's not an issue and the car is very spacious on the front as well on the back for an average person for a tall person you will you know touch with your head on the bot on the top on the roof line but uh, a lot of knee space um you know it's you know it's pretty good um so we are coming to the highway a little you know um critic uh the car has wireless charging for your phone which is convenient i think it's standard and you have two usb c's i wish there was a usb a uh why because uh, if you want to use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, it's not uh, available wirelessly, so you need to use a cable. So in that case, I don't have a A cable, uh, I mean C, excuse me, so I didn't test it in this. Uh, navigation is pretty good, although you can press it here for some reason. Okay, you can press it on the bottom, and then you can have the full screen. Uh, it's nice, it has night and day mode, and then you can press uh, the view here. Um, you can see the lanes, you can see the entire full uh, maps here, you can see just a digital speedo. Although I like the classic one and I like to have in the middle, instead of this car, I would like to have, you can have maps, um, you can have a speed limit, uh, consumption data, but you can have a, uh, you know, digital speed. You have it on the side here as well with a sign of the speed limit but it's kind of small and then i'm not used to watching the needles um sometimes especially this one doesn't have like smaller it only has like uh, 20 40 60 you know it's nothing in between so i uh, usually i'm speeding with this car so i like to have a digital speedo so i can you know just uh, play with this 
uh, like this. Of course, if you choose on the side, you can uh, add menus like uh, this, for example. Uh, but I prefer uh, nothing because in, in that case you can have the full uh, map display like this or you can have uh, just needles. If you want, you can, you can choose both of these and just add uh, costume data here. But I kind of prefer it without it, you know. So, um, this infotainment takes a little bit while. It is very good, clever. I mean, you know, the idea is clever, easy to swap. What do you need? Excuse me, the AC controls are on the top, very easy to use. Uh, and, you know, you can see your all the data here. It just takes a little bit while just to memorize it. But uh, once you got it, it's all good. Okay, so the car is very responsive. You can pull your you know, little lever, you can press the sport. But I think we're gonna just choose the driver profile sport. A little stiffer. And you can see the ambient lights. Actually, no, they're still on individual. Okay, gonna speed up from 40 here. And punch it all the way. A little uphill. speeds up very easily excellent performance the LED lights are also excellent I just love this ambient lights in the interior the hug you and then this beautiful illumination on the road so I'm gonna drop my speed I'm gonna come to comfort Hundred or sixty miles per hour. Tire noise. The smile hybrid system very helps. One thirty. A little bit of wind. Going up to one fifty. There's a little bit more wind, a little bit side mirrors and the front windshield and tire noise. But the engine is very quiet, so it's very nice. If you're speeding, I mean, if you're driving fast, we have a tolerance here in Croatia, so uh, 150 is not an issue. You know, the speakers are excellent. Um, you know, I'm still not sure if there's, these are extra speakers. I like uh, the upgraded one. I think they're not. So, um, so I'm just gonna see the long beam. Uh, so I have automatic long beam. Uh, I can see the little on the side, uh, bottom right corner, automatic beam. So I'm gonna speed up just to catch up to the cars and see if it's gonna dip. I mean, uh, turn off the part of the other car. So maybe. These are the Matrix LEDs. I haven't seen the spec, spec list of this car or the spec sheet, so that's the reason why I can. Uh, I'm not 100% sure are these Matrix. is better illuminated also the lane assist is working very nice but after a few minutes it's gonna start freaking out uh, unfortunately no cars in our uh, right lane so we're exiting the highway I haven't showed you the cruise control, but um, 
you know, it's not intuitive from the start, if, except if you're not, uh, you know, uh, on the, with the Leon uh, from the, you know, previous. I think it also had it on a lever like Skoda. But, uh, you know, after minutes, you know, you figure it out. It's not that complicated. I like the fact that you can uh, rest your elbow on the side of the door. So I am in comfort and let me just check here. Going to our spot where we're gonna do a zero to hundred. So if you press the cruise control button, comes on, and then you can press the um, set the speed limit and you can set set and then it starts driving it's very nice graphics uh, the screens are very nice as well from the eye distance even if you come close very sharp graphics and then I'm just gonna lower the speed accordingly it's gonna be 80 and then you can change here the uh, distance between between the car like if I speed up to that bus Closer to it, so you can play with the distance, you know, and the car is going to brake accordingly. But I'm going to lower uh, according to the speed limit. If you press here, you can have the lane assist, and then you have the uh, ACC, excuse me, wrong button ACC. You have the limiter, so you can, uh, uh, you know. Uh, limit to the speed limit or the ACC if you you know press the you have the side assist rear traffic front assist and stuff like that um, you can have it like this screen so this is very interesting it's another view you can press it like this or like this this is cool or just use the uh, classic and full stop. So I'm gonna switch to the part where we do zero to hundred test. Okay, so something that I wanted to summarize is that the seats are very comfortable. So I spent uh, you know, good amount in car today, and they're very uh, nice and supportive, very comfortable seats. So, you know, if it's a longer journey, um, you know, no problem. Uh, definitely recommendation. And um, I just must say, I'm very overwhelmed with the SAT solutions uh, with the digital technology. Of course, I wish there was, you know, AC controls, but it's very easy to, um, you know, Turn on this fan speed uh, AC. You can control always here the climate control, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, so uh, there's always here your rear, you can unlock it. Uh, I climb it so you have smart features, uh, you know, air so you can recirculate the dust and stuff like that. So um, we're going to uh, test the LED's performance because after this part there is just pitch black. Uh, the street light is turned off. And we're going to do uh, 0 200 test. Uh, honestly, I've been checking but I didn't find out how to do a launch control. Uh, there's going to be daytime point of view without me talking. So you can see over there, um, you know, me using. So that car had probably also automatic long beam. Let's check the long beam first. It's automatic. So I would say these are not matrix, but they are very decent uh, because matrix, you know, have parts that turn off or on. This is definitely not it. There's no one behind us, no one in front of us. 
for us to serve for safety. See, when I slow down, it turned it off. So, um, car, we are going to turn off the traction control, start stop, not to turn off lane assist, not to interfere. Look at traffic out of the way. This is all off. Let's do this. brakes going to this time for the sport I'm gonna put it in a manual So, you know, that was year 200. Exciting, but not that exciting after you've driven a Tesla, so. Okay, so, um, the official time is 8.4 seconds. Um, you know, turn the contraction lane, start stop, all that stuff. And there's some traffic, I guess, you know, it's summer, people are on vacation. I like the fact that you have coordinating LED fog lights. So, we're going to stop here. So, full stop. We have to park. So, these are the front LEDs. So, on, off, long beam on off now it's on automatic just a second yeah it's still on now okay so i'm gonna take a few photos with my iphone which has a better camera so you can see how they look more in person okay so this is in the long beam it's automatic and these are the front fogs once again very bright if you move the steering wheel and they turn on the side also to show you the uh, park assist camera actually you have here a self parking but we're not going to test that one uh, we'll put it to reverse you can see here very good uh, although it's dark this turns with the steering wheel uh, very good camera quality uh, although it is a little bit distorted because of the fish eye lens, 180 degrees, but very, very good. I'm gonna take some photos as well. Okay, so I've set it up a navigation just to show you how it looks. So you have a nice information inside. You have a nice projection. Please keep left after the city entry and continue to follow the road towards center. And you have the nice uh, graphics of the buildings next to you. Now keep left and continue to follow the road. I'm gonna lower this uh, voice. You can also use Hola. I know, read you that you can use voice commands with Hola. I'm feeling hot. So if you didn't hear that because I lowered the volume, it said it's gonna be cold on the left, so it knows where I'm sitting shortly. So, you know, it's nice, um, very, very nice, I would say. Um, like all the cars, now these around this new random, this is a new roundabout with a tunnel below, so none of them are updated on the maps. Now it's oh, so you have a McDonald's here, that's really nice. So, those new navigation systems are um, a lot more improved, uh, better value for money, of course. Okay, so time to wrap up this video. 
um, what do I think of the new set long would I recommend it definitely uh, go for it uh, this car is in my opinion like you hear the cabin noise that I didn't comment but it's actually I did it's very good so uh, this car on the performance um, everything uh, on the road is I would say in the level of the Golf 8 and it means it's a huge value for money because design wise I know it's a matter of tastes but I think it has a better uh, dynamic design uh, more character um, it's more sporty looking the exterior the interior is better uh, you know and design in my personal opinion uh, I, I believe you would agree with me and uh, it has a little bit special touch with this ambient lights that hug you uh, very clever solutions from sad this is a huge step up from the last generation um, and the handling uh, performance on the road is also excellent so um, it, and who is this car who is sad aiming at sad is aiming at uh, young people and those who feel young in their hearts despite their age um, now the car I forgot from the top of my head there's gonna be price uh, inside this uh, video description uh, this car is loaded with some extra options 18 inch alloy wheels uh, some connectivity stuff so it ramp ups uh, the price but the entry models uh, you know the prices are mostly the same they've uh, went up a little bit but you get more inside the package so I think that kind of uh, rationalizes uh, the um, you know price increase but uh, there's only three packages there's style of the entry version with different headlights um, that are also LED but, but just with the projectors these are have lens and then you have the excellence and then you have this the FR uh, if you want more than that uh, you can always get the Cupra version with a real exhaust uh, with the performance uh, this is going to be even better inside but this uh, I think this FR model is well equipped even the lower packages are well there's like almost no difference inside except the materials uh, that are used in the seats and similar but very good um, uh, value for money I would say um, you know uh, you get new design that is sharper uh, a little bit like Audi uh, but you know Audi has that extra quality you're gonna pay more for but this is a huge uh, budget um, value so I would say I would compare it to the Škoda although Škoda is a long hatch uh, this is a small one I would say this is a huge value for money and I would pick this instead of the new Golf 8 honestly so uh, we're gonna park the car in the garage and I usually come in here so you can see the car inside I'm gonna lower the window you can hear the engine it's a nice sound uh, the rear window doesn't go all the way down but you know I prefer that it does but just an uh, interesting fact uh, turning angle is very good considering this is a small hatch so there's like no one here so doesn't matter if I go like this so garage is pretty much empty I'm just gonna park it here where there's some light I'm gonna leave after this when I stop filming so just you know I'm not gonna leave it here um, if you like this video and all this information uh, please be a cool person give this video a like leave your comment below what do you think about the new set loan I think it's definitely excellent car and um, if you have a friend that might be interested or you know um, some you can share this video also it helps a lot um, if you're new to the channel if you like this content uh, click that bell I mean click the subscribe button and then click that bell to get notifications uh, uh, when I upload a new video not to miss this cool content so uh, thank you for watching uh, stay safe uh, on the road and at home as well don't forget your key, don't forget your phone. That's what happens with these new cars that have start-stop buttons. And a um, pretty cool feature uh, while exiting the car. I'm not gonna go to the front, I'm gonna go to the rear just for you guys to show you. Uh, the car, when you lock it, also does, does this nice uh, gimmick. There you go. So thank you for watching, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.